uh, let us compare the Intel's newer Skylac i5-6400 with the Haswell i5-4570 processor. So, Skylac obviously is the newer processor launched just recently as we make this video in third quarter of 2015 and Haswell was launched to more than two years ago from now. Uh, they do have the same cache memory 6 MB in both of them. So, and uh, they have the same number of cores for both are quad core processors, but they do not have the hyper threading uh, support. We will have to go to uh, core i7 processor to be able to do that. Now, in terms of the clock frequency, the Haswell is substantially slower at 2.7 uh, 2 gigahertz versus 3.2 gigahertz in Haswell for i5-4570. The 4570 is also faster in terms of max turbo clock frequency. The one good thing with the Skylac is it has reduced the power consumption to 65 watt. It will need less cooling and that is made possible by the newer 14, 14 nanometer process. So, let us take a look at their pass mark score to see how where do they stand. So, the Haswell 4570 it has a rating of 7020 and the new Skylac has a lower rating at 6532. So, even though there was slight improvement due to the architecture and all these things, but the frequency that uh, makes a bigger impact and that is why we see the Skylac is slower by about uh, 5 to 6 percent at least. And the reason that is the reason we see that Intel has price, priced this processor lower at 187 dollars. Both of them are launch process, launch prices. So, the exact prices may vary. Potentially 54570 it is going to be a little lower than 202 dollars that Intel is showing that. So, other than these differences we get more maximum memory size in Skylab though you none of us will be using 64 gigabytes that typically capping at 8 gigabyte or um, 16 gigabyte to be max. We do have a better max memory bandwidth though as of now both of them are going to have same memory speed that we have seen. The Skylac also comes with a faster DDR4 memory, but the speed is going to be the same as the peak DDR3 frequency uh, throughput that we see. The DDR4 works at 1.2 volt and that is why it will consume lower power as compared to DDR3 at 1.5 volt in Haswell. The Intel HD graphics 530 is slightly better than the 4600. They are about the same. Nothing much has changed between 4600 and 350. That is one thing disappointing. So, given all this background, I hope this helps. In the uh, bottom line, is the Haswell 4570 is still faster than the Skylac, but the Skylac is going to consume lower power and has slightly better integrated graphics. Thanks for taking a look.